Hello, this is a video tutorial for the mobile application called Visual DOF, which stands for Depth of Field, and it is designed for the Android operating system starting version 2.3 Froyo, so that even some older smartphones can run this application. And it's designed to extend the management of your depth of field area in video and photo shooting. The basic feature of this application is, of course, calculating depth of field for you based on your lens settings, like um, the aperture and the focal length, and based on the distance to your main subject in focus. It calculates the depth of field for you, the near edge, far edge, and hyperfocal distance, which is not, of course, a big deal because um, there are some other good applications that can do that for you. But the main feature of this particular app is that it gives you control over your out of focus area and it gives you exactly the amount of blurriness that you need. So, besides the parameter of your depth of field, first, this program gives you a visual reference of your background. To really use it you have to use this fourth slider and set the distance to your background and immediately when you release this slider you will see a visual reference, a fixed picture that will be as blurred as your real background. And as an example you can uh, try different apertures and you see as you increase the F number the picture becomes sharper and of course if you open up your lens when you decrease the f number the background becomes blurred. This picture will be basically exactly what you will see on the screen of your camera as soon as you make your shot. But besides visual reference you have this very important parameter which is called background minimum detail and it tells you the least objects on the background that will be resolved or recognizable on your background in your shot. So you make sure that this background minimum detail parameter is larger than something that you want to really blur. Like for example, if you want to hide some text of your background and the letters are 20 centimeters high, then you make sure that you step away from that background, that you open up your aperture, that you bring your main subject closer to the camera so that the background minimum detail is not less than 20 centimeters. And also there are some additional helping features in the program that will help you plan your shooting thoroughly before the shooting itself. Taking care of the background is important, but we shoot not backgrounds, but main subjects, and usually they are people. So whenever you have set up the lens parameters and you are happy with your with the look of your background let's remember about our main subject which most probably is a human being so by tapping on this image we can bring in the human subject as a visual reference how close how tight or how wide are we going to shoot the person and if you're happy with the background but you're not happy with how large or how small the main subject is on the screen you just move this slider the, the focus and distance the distance to your main subject in focus by moving it of course the size of your main subject changes as in real life but just keep in mind that by changing this slider you also change the extend of your blurriness of the background. So it's like a tricky game that when you change something you change everything. You might find this visual reference of your human subject helpful or not. If not then just tap it away. You just tap once to make it transparent and tap twice to make it disappear. But if you really think that it can help you there's another feature for you that could be helpful for your shooting preparations. For example, you like the size of your main subject, but you would like to see what other options are there for your background, or you'd like to see different lenses for this shooting. So here's another feature for you, which is called locking the size of the human subject. Take a long tap 
on the screen and you have this icon of lock appearing on the screen and when you change for example the focal length of the lens let's pretend that we're making it wider we have also the focusing distance changing meaning that as you take your shot wider you move your subject closer to the camera so that the size of your main subject remains the same but the background of course changes let's see it once again we make it a telephoto lens and we move away our subject from the camera so that the angle of the view is much more narrow right now but the subject stays the same also starting with this version the application supports large screens of tablets and it also supports the landscape orientation of the screen so that if you're planning your shoot with the help of your tablet larger screen more convenient grip so you can use it on the tablet as well in the end i'd like to give you some information what's coming up around the corner in the next pro version of this program there will be a lot more of customization like you will be able to choose different pictures for your background also you will be able to use in this program your own pictures of your real background so that when doing some location scouting for example you take the picture of the real place of your shooting and later on in your office you can calculate and plan what lenses you're going to use for this close-up for that tele shot for different settings in your future shooting also you will be able to enter the values of these parameters by typing in precisely if you find uh, using sliders a little bit tricky and if you have any suggestion regarding this program or if you have any complaint that something doesn't work for you just drop me a line there's available email address in the program and as soon as I can I can reply to you or introduce something new in this program if it really feels like absolutely necessary